When it's quiet like it is today, it's like being in heaven. It's just so wonderful. And at that point, I begin to see that maybe I've done something here. Hank is the kind of artist who makes what he sees. What do you feel? A connection. What in my life has brought me to this moment when I see that face and it, it makes something happen within me? How did he see that? How did he know that? How could he pick up so much from a person sitting across the aisle on a subway? He's capturing a person and a moment in their life, and that's precious to him. I come in every day in the hopes of making a discovery, and the discoveries inevitably are things that I see out of the corner of my eyes. He just has this urge to create, this need to create something beautiful. Beauty that feeds us, and more importantly, they nourish you. It's all around us. <gasps> I get like that, you know, it's wow, wow. In spite of an obviously tortured way of getting around, he does it. He's old and he's getting older. How do you explain that we all think that your work is as beautiful as anything we've ever seen and you are as relatively obscure as you are? The thing that's most concerning is that he would get to the point where he couldn't get here anymore. I know what that would mean to him. I spent my entire adult life trying to figure out why am I doing this? What does this mean? If I have to stop, I have to kill myself because this is me. This is his religion. It's what he has to do to live. If it's so bad and I'm not going to be here so much longer, whatever I want to do, I had better do it now. Nothing is going to deter him. Nothing has deterred him from devoting himself to his craft and his discoveries. He loves life in a way that I wish everybody did. I liked it. I like doing this.